Have you ever wondered why a native app might be the best choice for your business? Native apps can be a great option for connecting with customers and employees due to their powerful functionality and familiarity. In today's video from our series on how to create an app without coding, we'll discuss native apps, their advantages, their drawbacks, and how to choose the right app developer for your business. I'm Alex from Jotform. Let's get started. If your business is looking to create an app without coding, progressive web apps are not your only option. Native apps are still on the table, although you will likely need to find a professional app developer or development company if you don't have someone on your team with coding experience. It's important to note that native apps are platform specific, meaning that they are coded in a language specific to the end user's mobile device, whether it's Apple or Android. This causes native apps to function more powerfully than progressive web apps. Even more, native apps have the ability to access the user's device features like Bluetooth and camera. The majority of end users already have more than one native app on their device as native apps have increasingly become the standard choice for mobile devices. If you have the time and resources, creating a native app can have several advantages, such as increased brand awareness. Because users can find and download native apps from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, your app quickly becomes available to a wider audience. Speedy performance. A native app is built for the platform it lands on, meaning it is faster and more efficient than a progressive web app. Offline access. Just like a progressive web app, users can access native apps with little to no internet service whatsoever. An intuitive experience for the end user. This is because native apps are easier to navigate due to their familiar look and feel. While there are clearly many advantages, there are still some drawbacks to creating native apps, such as high development cost. In addition to the cost of app creation, hiring a developer can be thousands of dollars. Not to mention, businesses may need to pay for ongoing app maintenance, and native apps require developers with certain skills like Java programming. Time-consuming development. Generally, native apps take about six months to develop and can sometimes take even longer to complete. End user updates. Using progressive web apps, updates become available automatically, but with native apps, users are prompted to agree to install the update. Users who don't update may encounter problems like bugs and glitches, which could cause them to stop using the app or even delete it. Lack of development flexibility. While progressive web apps are not platform specific, native apps are, meaning that there is little flexibility for developers when it comes to coding. Multi-step download process. Because native apps need to be manually installed, which involves searching for and selecting the app, agreeing to its terms and downloading it, users could ultimately decide to forego the app in any point of the process. Difficulty sharing. With native apps, users cannot access all of their mobile app data on their other devices, nor can they easily share content from the app. So now that we know about the drawbacks, let's talk about how to choose an app developer. There are many great options, so where should you start? Try to stick with a specialist who has experience and skill with coding language you need, instead of going with a jack of all trades. And be sure to look at what the developer has done previously to see if their past work matches what you want in your business's mobile app. Describe clearly what type of app you're aiming for and remember to check references and reviews before agreeing to a contract. Now that we've delved deeper into the pros and potential cons of native apps, join us next time to look at the future of app development and the rise of the no-code concept. Before I sign off, let's take a moment to review. Unlike progressive web apps, native apps are platform specific. This means they're more powerful and that they have the ability to connect to device features like Bluetooth. Native apps have several advantages like their speedy performance and intuitive end user experience. On the other hand, native apps are challenging when it comes to things like their development timeline and end user updates. Even still, if you have to choose the native app route, be sure you do your homework when selecting an app developer or development company. Again, I'm Alex from Jotform. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you here next time.